Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm doing this video after just watching the United States and England play to a 0-0 draw. Um, an exciting one for that, for sure. Um, you know, if you told me before the game that um, the U.S. would have tied England, especially after England had destroyed uh, their first opponent in the World Cup, I would have said, hey, I'll sign up for that. So now the United States has to beat Iran and they will qualify for the next round. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to go through some, basically a mailbag, some stuff that I've purchased recently from eBay. I haven't been purchasing a lot on eBay. And the main reason is because... Um, is because I've been going through so many collections that I've bought locally that I haven't had the time to search out some deals on eBay. But recently, I've been able to pick up some stuff. So we're going to start with this. This was a lot I bought on eBay of graded 1986 cards. And I got this for a great, great deal. Uh, just to give you an idea, there were 17 different graded cards in the lot and I paid 198 for it which works out to a little over ten dollars a card ten or eleven dollars a card so let's see what was in it uh right off the bat we have a Bill Walton and this one's a near mint seven I think this is one of the higher graded ones a near mint seven Bill Walton and just a a really nicely conditioned card. Uh, I know how hard it is to get uh, high grades and vintage. Uh, by the way, this whole lot, the stuff that came in is all basketball. So we got a 90, uh, an 86 Kelly Trapuca in a VG Excellent 4. LaSalle Thompson. Now, there were obviously no Michael Jordan rookies in here. But uh, I'll take it. Uh, for $10, uh, 10 to $11 a card, you can't really beat it. LaSalle Thompson in a VG4. Um, then we have this one here. Uh, Steve Stepanovich in an excellent five. Larry Smith. In an excellent to, to mint six. All right. Michael, I'm sorry, Byron Scott in an excellent to mint six. Clearly, the issue here is it's off center. Jeff Ruin. Another six. Most of these were sixes. So, you know, not great conditioned, but better than average. Uh, if I was putting these in my collection in a in a set, I'd be more than thrilled with sixes and sevens. Here's a Dan Roundfield in an excellent to mint six. Again, centering is the issue on these cards. They look sharp. The corners and edges look pretty good. Uh, because of the colored borders, everything sticks out on these cards. So it's really nice to get them in this condition. Uh, Lewis Lloyd in an excellent to mint six. Mostly commons, but as we know in this set, these... If you were buying this lot as a commons lot, raw, you'd pay $5 to $6 a card for commons. So to get them PSA graded for five more dollars per card, I'll take that every day of the week. And the seller of that was Burks J 97 on eBay. So look up his page and, um, and then see if he's got any other deals. 1986 Flair Frank uh, Frank Johnson and an excellent five. J. 
just strong quality conditioned cards. I'm really trying to focus on buying some more um, graded stuff. This was a big one. Uh, to me, it's a great player. Joe Dumars is probably, you know, not ever going to be in the Hall of Fame. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame. But certainly a great player for that Pistons team, uh, the the bad boys of Detroit. And um, in an excellent to, to near, excellent to mint six, I'll take that all day. That's got to be worth more than $11. Adrian Dantley, another, he was a, he had a sticker in this set. So he was an all-star at the time. Long NBA career. Excellent to mint six. This card will be for sale. Uh, this in particular, because I know I have an Adrian Dantley in a PSA 9. And then we've got another, I might know him more because he was a Celtic at one point. John Bagley here is with the Cleveland Cavaliers and an excellent to mint six. And then here we got Alvin Adams in an excellent to mint six, card number two. And then there were a few more. These are my biggest, the ones I enjoyed the most because they're Celtics and they're great players, both Hall of Famers. So whenever you can get a Hall of Famer from the 1986 set, for 11 bucks already graded. I'll take that every day of the week. Robert Parrish, 1986. It's a VG Excellent 4. So you can see there's some damage on the corners there. A little bit of, little bit of rubbing on the corners. A little more uh, beat up, but not uh, gross. I, would, I, would have, I wouldn't have been surprised if they gave this a 5. But with the corners and the centering, I think they just decided on a four. That's Robert Parrish. And then this one is a Kevin McHale from the 86 Flair set. Probably one of my favorite Celtics of all time because uh, nobody could stop him in the low post. And if you listen to Kevin McHale tell the story, he's never committed a foul. Ever. So, um, Kevin McHale in a PSA 5. So I was really stoked to get that group of cards for the price I got it at. And then I also picked this up. This came a few days earlier. This came, these 86s came today in the mail. But this 81, Julia Serving, Excellent to Mint 6, came in... Um, in the mail the other day. I thought I got a pretty good deal on this one. Paid under 20 bucks for it. Uh, but again, it just goes to show you how good of a deal this 86 lot was when you realize that by buying it one at a time, I got this Julius, Julius Irving, not even in very high grade, but a six for 18 and change. 1835 I picked that one up for. So it just shows you these, I got it $7 less. And I mean, you just can't beat that, that particular price. Also, this came in the mail today. This was a Moses Malone, 1978, and an excellent to mint six. What they call collector grade, excellent to mint six. And this one is a six. And I got that one. This one is an absolute studio. I got this one for under $11. All by itself. With shipping, taxes, everything included. For under $11. So I'll take that. And then we're going to finish it off with this one. To stick with the 1986 theme. I got this one here. Larry Bird sticker. I have the Jordan sticker in an excellent to mint six. Uh, this one I was able to pick up on eBay in an excellent five. Just wanted to have this card graded. And I was able to pick this up for all told 
taxes, shipping, everything, I was able to get this card for under 30 bucks. Uh, which I would imagine you'd probably pay that for a raw one. So I was pretty happy with that. And then, I don't know if I still have it over here or not, but there was one baseball card I, I picked up recently, but I don't think I have it with me here. Uh, so I'll have to show you that one at a later date. I picked up an Aaron Judge. Uh, so that's it. Those were the ones I picked up that, that came in the mail today. And in this last week, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I want to thank everybody who's watched the videos, subscribed, liked, commented, shared, whatever uh, it is that you're doing that's helping out the channel. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this content, feel free to do all those things and help us build uh, the channel. Uh, I really lo always look forward to comments. Um, and, uh, and I want to wish everybody a, a continued safe uh, Thanksgiving Day weekend. And um, go Team USA. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. And um, happy hunting. Have a great day.